Thank you, Lightstream, for sponsoring this video. So today I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and multi-stream from your PS5 to platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Kick, Facebook, and any RTMP destination at the same time without the need of a capture card or utilizing an expensive computer. So the software that we're gonna utilize here today is gonna be Lightstream Studio. Now, you do not need to have a computer at all times to be able to set this up. Once you set this up the first time on a computer, you can then manage everything directly from your mobile. Now, if you already have a Lightstream Studio plan, this multi-streaming feature is already included in your plan at no additional cost. But if you've never used Lightstream before, this is gonna be the software that you're able to utilize to not only add overlays to your console, but also to be able to multi-stream to multiple platforms to allow you to be able to grow. So you'll see here that you have the option to select a few plans. You have a, if you go monthly, anywhere from $8 a month to $16 a month. And if you go annually, $7 a month to $14 a month. And you'll get a seven day free trial to be able to try everything out. And if you use the link in the description of this video, you'll also get 25% off your first month. So once you go ahead and select your account, you'll be brought to a dashboard just like this. So the first step is we're gonna set everything up in live stream and then we'll jump into the PlayStation as there's some additional steps we need to do to make sure these two things are communicating. So on the left-hand side, you're gonna see the My Project. You're gonna go ahead and name that and then you're gonna go ahead and select the resolution that you went ahead and selected for the plan you went ahead and chose. Then you wanna make sure you have Auto Live Project on. This is super important. What this means is that when you go live on your PlayStation, to Twitch, it's gonna go ahead and send it over to Livestream, and then Livestream's gonna send that stream over to YouTube, Kick, Facebook, and any other RTP destination that you went ahead and selected. So make sure you have that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a project that I already went ahead and set up, where it has my overlays, my starting soon, my countdown, my gameplay, my just chatting, and I'll show you at the end of this video how you can go ahead and add overlays to your console stream utilizing Livestream Studio. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come to the top right-hand side. You're gonna see here that I have YouTube and I have Kick here selected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these to show you how to set this up. So Twitch needs to be the primary platform that you stream to. You cannot stream from your PS5 to YouTube and have live stream send it to Twitch, Kick, and things of that sort. You need to use Twitch as the primary because that's the only way that live stream is able to pull that stream and send it to the other destinations that you have selected. Now. You can stream up to five destinations at the same time utilizing Livestream Studio, with one of them having to be Twitch, and then the other four can be any of the other platforms that I went ahead and mentioned. So let's go ahead and start with adding YouTube. So once you go ahead and select that, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and select the account. You'll select that account for your YouTube channel. And if you've never live streamed to YouTube before, you wanna go ahead and go to youtube.com, you wanna sign in with your account, and you wanna authorize live streaming, and then it's gonna take 24 hours for you to be able to get access. So once I've gone ahead and connected it, you'll see that I have the option here, and then I can go ahead and toggle it on. Now you're gonna see the option here to put in your stream title. This is a test, this is a test, and then you see here that you have the option for privacy. You have three different options. Public means that anyone can see your live stream. Private means that only you can see your live stream. And unlisted means that you only you can see your live stream, but also anyone who has the link to your live stream can view it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it as unlisted. And then let's go ahead and add our kick destination. So now I can go ahead and name this kick. I can go ahead and turn this on. And it's gonna ask you for the URL and the stream key. So what you wanna do is you wanna log into your kick account. You're gonna to come to where it says settings, stream key, and you're gonna see the URL right here. You'll simply go ahead and select copy. You'll paste this here in the URL. We'll come back. We'll select our stream key, hit copy. And then we'll come here and paste in our stream key. And now what we're telling is that every time that we go live on the PlayStation to Twitch, live stream, please send over my stream over to YouTube and to kick. And then again, you can add in other RTP destination like Trovo, DLive, and over even Facebook. Now this can go to the Twitch, and go to two to three YouTube channels as you have five options available to you with member one of them having to be Twitch for this to be able to work. All right, so now once we have this set up here, we now need to go ahead and do some settings on the PlayStation to go ahead and get this set up. So on your PlayStation, you're gonna come to these settings. Once you're here, you're gonna select network. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go ahead and set up internet connection. You're gonna to go to the one that you have connected. And of course, if you're hardwired, this is always gonna be the best result. You're gonna go ahead and select option. You're gonna to go to advanced settings and you're gonna come here where it says DNS settings, right? We're gonna change this to manual. And now you have to input our primary DNS. Now, 
and I'll put a link in the description of this video to this link from live stream to be able to get that information. This DNS server is going to give you the best option based on where you're at. So you'll simply select the one from here. So on my PlayStation, I'm going to go ahead and put in that code that I went ahead and seen there 4.246.1.1. Dot nine nine. So I'm going to hit done. And then for the secondary DNS, we just leave that at zero. So you simply press OK. It's going to go ahead and connect over to the Internet. And this is going to let us know that it's establishing a connection. So you can see here that now it's connected. So now what we want to do is you want to come back. We want to go ahead and load the game that we're going to be able to play. You have to load the game first before you're able to actually stream. So while that game is loading, you want to go ahead and hit the option on your controller to be able to start the actual broadcast. We'll come here to broadcast and you'll go ahead and select your Twitch account. Now, if you've never streamed to Twitch before, you want to go ahead and link your account by going to settings, coming to users and accounts. You wanna to go to linked services and you wanna make sure you link your Twitch account and that'll prompt you on how to go ahead and get that set up. So let's go ahead and go back to the game so we can go ahead and get this set up correctly. So once you have the game, we're going to get ready to broadcast. We'll come here to the broadcast section. You'll click on these three little dots and we're going to go to broadcast options. Now you can go ahead and display your camera. If you have your camera connected, that'll also come over into live stream display chat. I typically turn this off because I don't want the chat on my screen. You can monitor the chat from your phone um, or any of the streaming platforms that you're streaming to display activity. You can do that if you want to overlay include party audio, but this is a super important part here. Video quality. You want to select the video quality for the plan that you selected inside a live stream. So I have uh, 1080p at 38 frames per second. Once you have that in place, you're going to enter in your broadcast title for Twitch, and then you'll simply go ahead and press go live. Now, once you go ahead and press go live, that's going to send over your stream over here to live stream. And then live stream is going to go ahead and send it to all the destinations that you went ahead and selected here. But just sending over your stream to multiple platforms is a great way to be able to grow your stream. However, if you want your stream to look professional with overlays like I have set up here, go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on how to set up overlays inside a live stream studio for your PS5 console stream. Click that video right there. I'll see you guys in the next video.